Like rain and storm, in this episode we visit the unbelievable Giant's Causeway and afterwards pay our respects to Bushmills, the oldest legal distillery in the world. Giant Causeway, man. What a great place to be. Gorgeous. And it was good to us too. It kind of cleared up when we arrived and it totally crapped over us when we left. But due to the heavy winds I couldn't fly my drone. Actually I did try, but all of a sudden a guy appeared and said, no drones guys! I have no idea. I didn't even put my bag down. How he knew. But anyways, we are heading to Bushmills now. The oldest distillery in the world. In 1608 a license was granted by King James I to the owner and at the time governor Thomas Phillips to produce whiskey for seven years and that makes Bushmills the oldest legal distillery in the world. It wasn't in operation the whole time, it had to suffer with periods of closure and even burned to the ground in 1880. After a tax on malted grain was established by the English Empire Bushmill stuck to its guns, paid the increase to keep up its consistency, and that's how they kept it until today. Bushmill's triple distills, 
and chill filters, its main products that are as follows. Bushmills Original, 55% single malt and 45% grain whiskey produced in Middleton. Black Bush, 80% single malt, 20% grain. And Black Bush Single Malt, 10, 16 or 21 years old. The distillery did withstand all of the storms relatively well, and out of the 37 distilleries at the beginning of the 20th century, remained as one of the four that survived. In 1972, they were taken over by the Irish Distillers Group, only to be swallowed along with all the others by the French trust Pernod Ricard in 1988, who resold them to Diageo in 2005. It was all the more surprising when Diageo decided to sell Bushmills to the Mexican giant José Curevo in 2014. Word on the street is that they had invested 60 million dollars in two new buildings, an additional mesh tongue, eight washbacks and ten pot stills. And the whole thing would be garnished with further 29 warehouses. Cheers! Having enjoyed the really interesting tour through the venerable old Bushmills distillery as well as the subsequent tasting, we set out for the longest stage of our journey, the 335 kilometers to Galway along the west coast of Ireland, for which our navigation system calculated a duration of almost 5 hours. Finally, everything ran smoothly and we appreciated the ride across Ireland that in terms of landscape and weather did offer everything to the fullest it possibly could. finally arrived in Galway, took us four hours to get here, but Mr. Smith drove like a real hero. Uh, we're staying here for two nights in the same apartment, so we were able to build our control bridge where we can transfer all the diet data and make the backups and recharge all the batteries. I'll, I'll show you, hold on. Next stop is getting something to eat and then we'll regather in the apartment, have a couple of beers and call it a day. See you tomorrow. No less than three distilleries are on the next episode's agenda. Kilbegan, Tullamore and Dingle. 
And we stumble upon one main difference between independent distilleries and major companies. We need your help, so our channel can keep growing. Maybe you know someone interested in all things whiskey that you can recommend us to. Check out our playlist, Vlogs in English. Each click and every minute playtime does help. And we do enjoy each and every comment, so please feel free. Please take the chance to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, so you will be notified whenever something's going on. It's all free. Thank you.